Yes, these men and their hypnotized followers call this a new order. It is not new, and it is not order. The man to beat me haven't been born yet. This is the business, and y'all ain't getting nothing for free. And if you devils play broke, then I'm taking your company. You could call it reparations or restitution. Lock and load, nigga. From the commieblaster.com. So you know Wix is pretty pissed right now. We're just gonna get right into it. The Democratic Party is now Communist Socialist Party funded by and aligned with Islamic terrorists. Communist takeover has occurred in America and is now under lawless communist control. Does everyone understand that? And you get that class? He's an imposter, a forger, a puppet, a Marxist, an Islamic foreigner, a serial criminal, mass murderer, a pathological liar, illegally installed as president to destroy America. He openly commits treason and has supplied weapons and material aid to America's enemies in time of war. He continuously violates the Constitution with impunity. His stepbrother regularly meets with Islamic terrorists, Odenga, of fucking Kenya, I think it is, and Obama basically tells him to uh, commit genocide, and then he'll get the people's attention, and they'll do it, you know, he wants them to do. The Republican Party has merged with the Democratic Party and has vowed not to impeach Obama. So we live under one party rule where headless teleprompters select candidates, elections are determined by voter fraud, and our votes mean largely nothing. Once elected, our senators and congressmen become millionaires via insider trading, a perk they have legalized for themselves, which is why I always say get the fucking lobbyists and the damn bankers and the think tanks away from the damn elections. They got no fucking business being there. Obama, what is bullshit? I'm not going to hire any lobbyists. And he hires more than any fucking president combined. Combined. I'm not going to hire any lobbyists. Folks, I'll have you know that uh, not many people, only insiders, knew what a fucking lobbyist even was until Obama came in. Obama's the one that started all that shit about uh, lobbyists are really bribers. I, they're doing all of this in your face on purpose to see the level that they can push it to next. Folks, you got to get this message out to everyone you can, loud and clear. I don't give a fuck if you get it out by pigeon carrier. Just do it. There's nobody going to stop these people except the people. Period. No government, no army, no guy up in the sky. The Republican Party has merged with the Democrats and vowed not to impeach Obama. Okay, I did all that. Obama is only a figurehead. The real person running the White House is Valerie Jarrett. Iranian-born, socialist, communist, as I told you. This is absolutely absurd, folks. Absurd. This is U.S. media, which 90% is owned by six major corporations. They take obedient direction from and provide cover for Obama directly. They get talking points every fucking day from the White House and from the Pentagon. And it's weird because the White House and Pentagon seem to always be ratting each other out. These people are fucking insane. There's no telling what they'll do when under severe pressure and stress. There's no telling what somebody like me might do either. I've, I've been ready for war. Ben, Ben, 
Everybody knows I've been. How long I've been wanting to fight it, folks. I'm ready. We, sh we should not be fucking sitting here. We'll get to that in a minute on what we should be doing. The head of the CIA and Obama's assassination czar, John Brennan, speaks in Arabic about the beauty of Islam and converted to Islam while stationed in Saudi Arabia. He most likely ordered the car bomb murder of Rolling Stones journalist who was investigating Brennan, as well as many other Obama-related murders, and the CIA created Al-Qaeda and trained and released the head of ISIS. The CIA most likely selects, installs, and manages the U.S. presidents and pits terrorists versus Americans to implement fascist rule by controlling both sides of the price. It's like a fucking football game. You're going to bet on a team? You bet on both teams. A ridiculous amount of money. Either way, you're going to fucking clean up. Well, guess who does the cleaning up in war? Most of the time, it's Dick Cheney and some of his companies like Blackwater and Halliburton. Fucking Kraft International. They don't fucking help anybody. They just go out there and assassinate people. They're fucking mercenaries, folks. Do you know what a mercenary is? Hello? Every single level of the government has committed treason and it's just too damn much. There's only one way to solve it. You got to shut down the government, period. It's the only way to solve it. It's either that or a bloody violent fucking revolt right now. Because it's going to be other troops. I'm telling you folks, there's already Russian troops and Chinese troops here. They've been here for years. I mean, Jesus, China owns 51% of the country, folks. They've been here quite a long time. That's right, you own 50% and they own 51 So fuck you. Take your ass to Canada. Wouldn't be surprised if they own a bunch of shit up there, too. Just look at the fucking level of shit. You know, criminal, civil contempt of Congress. Government welfare, communist. Yeah. Have jihadis at the fuck at fucking dinner at the White House. No big deal. And look at the people. No. Oh. You're fucking regular scumbags. I've been thinking about this for a while. And I think it's high time. I'm going to do a little piece entitled, Know Your Scumbag. It's going to be drawn up by the Scumbag Eradication Team. The SAT Team. Because what Homeland Security has, that's fucking Stasi police. That is the Gestapo. And FEMA is like the SS. Have you ever noticed, it doesn't really seem like these people seem to die too often. A lot of rumor <laughs> that they've all been killed. <laughs> They're all clones. I could buy that. I really could. Because every single one of these people are completely Looney Tunes. Like, I don't think you people understand how sick in the head these people are. You may not think it because, you know, you listen to them or whatever and you don't hear it. Well, then you don't know. <laughs> and you don't know what to listen for and stuff like that. This man just got caught trying to do a false flag in Iran. 
Folks, guaranteed, they're going to keep trying and trying and trying and trying and trying until we go through the fucking doors of the White House looking like that. And dragging them out by their fucking balls and slaughtering them. I shit you not. Yes, I'm threatening the government. Them cocksuckers are threatening me and us. They're threatening our constitution and our way of life. They've stolen from us. They've fucking raped and robbed us. They've killed hundreds of millions of people. Threatening government. Get the fuck out of here. Threatening? You ain't seen shit yet, son. Get the fucking... All of it. The whole page. Just plaster it everywhere. Give a fuck if one of these cocksuckers gets their head blown off. What the fuck do I care? It don't work for me. Uh, how about, you know, supposed to have a million man march? Uh, I believe it was Paracon. No. About 100,000 people showed up. Well, the same day, other side of town, there was another thing going on. And about 2 million people showed up. I forget if it was at the IRS building or, or where else, but 2 million people marched on D.C. Not a fucking word about it was mentioned on the news anywhere. That's what they talked about. Farrakhan's 100,000 man march. Not million man march. No, the million man march was fucking on the other side of town. And a lot of these guys have already gone underground. Uh, the elites already have. They're, they're long gone. There's a bunch of islands all over the world that they own. And uh, they're just kicking their feet up. Having a good old laugh on you and me. The stupider we fucking get with the fluoride poisoning and the dementia causing and Alzheimer's. I mean, you name it. The sickest diabolical diseases that you can think of on this planet was created by these anathema of the earth. David Rockefeller, the, the dude's had like six heart transplants. He's a hundred years old. People come up to him in the street and they're like, you should be killed. We're going to kill you. And, and he just smiles and laughs. He just laughs it off. Yeah, I don't care. Whatever. Every one of these people. No, there's not going to be no leniency. This isn't fucking Nuremberg. No, everyone gets executed. Sit. Learn the faces. Learn their, most of all, so we don't have another Operation Paperclip. Learn their fucking kids and their kids and their kids' kids. Do a whole fucking blackout on the families. All of them, every fucking one of them, every fucking one of these people right here. Every one of them. They just found that nice new place where that there's an opening to hell. That would be a very good place to dump these people. How come these people are not arrested yet? Insane McCain? The guy's fucking losing his mind. You see him up there, he gets up there and fucking starts dancing out of nowhere and shit. And... Yeah, 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 the, the swearing. Give me a break already. Swearing. What are you, fucking five? Get it out. God bless, carry on.